Good evening, good evening, paint pouring people. It's Jilly and Jilly with you. Jilly with a G and Jilly with a J. It's Jilly J that is going to be pouring today. She's my pupil, but she's very good at what she's learning, so I've got good confidence in her. She's going to pour on a Kmart. I got this Kmart MDF board. They sell them in Kmart in Australia for $3. They're a nice sturdy board, they do not warp and they're great for making clocks because uh, you can uh, drill into the centre or you can just have them as a wall plaque and you can resin them at the end as a placemat, well, there's all manner of things. So they're a great um, thing to pour on. They're 35 centimetres round and Jilly has chose to do um, a cup pour on these. Not sure if that's exact terminology, um, but we're doing a cup pour where we're paints that she used previously. Uh, she mixed up some of my global paints and El Rado. So those are the colours that she's showing you. Um, if I can remember, I'll try and say the names on, on the way. Um, but they're all global and a few El Rado, which is Australian made paints. Um, so we are going to uh, just we're basically using the rest of these paints uh, because we're off on our trip to Sydney on Wednesday so she's going to layer a cup so it's she's going to lay layer it however you choose to do but uh, um, the only thing I recommend Jilly is that you don't do tiny bits of paint in each layer uh, for the fact that it just sort of gets lost in everything but I mean each to their own is just a recommendation I'm giving Jilly so she'll just layer these colours. With that Kmart MDF round, they're pre painted on one side so you can pour straight over them. I'm sorry you can't get them in the US, but I'm sure you can get the same uh, board. So, okay, she's put in the uh, what's banana leaf, banana leaf, palm green, and turquoise. All of this was mixed with um, the 70% Elmer's glue, 30% water that I got pre-made. And she put, did you put one or two drops of silicon? One, just one. one. Just one drop of the Helmar silicon in each cup. Really don't need that much. Um, and especially if you're somebody that doesn't like a cell overload. So she's got actually two, there's, there's two palm green, one's palm green normal and one's palm green metallic. And then this is the uh, magenta. I think they've called that one fuchsia, but. And then this is um, it's called sea breeze, but it's kind of like a nice peppermint green. So as you see, she's just layering the cup. It's no hurry, Jilly. Just do it so it's nice, calm, therapeutically. And different people layer their cups differently from what I've seen like I always layer my paint slowly down the side of the cup because I've just got it in my head that it has less chance of muddying the paint but um, layering like this doing wiggly on the top as long as the paint's not too thin and won't just like sink straight to the bottom and mix in with the other colors and cause mud it's all good Nearly there. Nearly there. It's no hurry. Just relax, do it. That yeah, that's wet cloth, you can use that. Do you want me to get you another one? Please. Having a wet cloth beside you to wipe your hands is a really um useful tool to have. You you your wet cloth. Keeping your hands free from and you're not then mixing paints as you go along. What Jilly's going to do with this is she's going to put white, uh, white, just a white pillar underneath to uh, turn the cup over onto. So she's a lot more pedantic than I am. See, so I just leave the dirty old paint there. <laughs> just take it slow. Just slow yourself down. Just relax. 
So can you hear the wildlife? Come say hello. That's our gecko. Can't actually see him at the moment. I'll definitely put the um, photo, uh, the little video I've just done on the end of this particular paw of the big spider sitting on the wall in here, which obviously somebody from England is a bit freaked out by, poor Jilly. It's a huntsman. They don't actually, they're not poisonous or venomous. They can give you a bite if they're provoked, but it's not deadly. So, but for the agrophobics? Agrophobics? Arachnophobic. Arachnophobia. Oh, agrophobia. Yeah. <laughs> That's fear of going out. <laughs> agrophobia is fear of going out. Spaces, isn't it? Is I, it? Don't or, or, I don't or know. Or is it small spaces? Somebody will tell us. Okay, she's just put the pillow there. So I'm suggest so now because you can't kind of lift that up now. You've no. got to you've got to do a, a, a wrist action like oh, that. I'm not good at this, aren't you? I can flick it for you, but you just try it. Just really quick. That's it. I would just leave that for a second or two, and even good to get a pin in the side. Have you done just one of the push pins? Oh, look at those colours. So tr try to not. Um, I push into the side, but very gently without squidging your cup. It, have you done it? No. No. If it if it doesn't, don't worry about it. That's it. Just just leave it. Just leave it. Look, it's yeah. it's spewing out all on its own little adventure there. How bright and vibrant are those colours coming out? You can lift the cup, you can do whatever you choose if you so you don't end up with it all over one side. Whatever you want to do is absolutely fine by me. Use your own creative juices. Only thing I find when I do that swirl is Whoa. you muddy up the paints. But that's okay. Get out of your don't worry about the cup. Or lift the actual MDF, yeah, that's it, it's all good. That's the only thing I find when I sort of drag it around the canvas is gives it an opportunity to muddy your paints and they're not so crisp. Kind of crisp, toffee apple-ish, the green and red. Mm. <laughs> oh, you got it on your watch, Jilly. <laughs> You live and learn. The more you pour, you you end up ruining everything. What you're dripping on the all over the floor. <laughs> Not that I haven't got so much. Use your cloth. Yeah, it's, it's on my feet as well. Oh, it's on your feet. Oh my god. I'm a and you never put. It's on your dress. You never put a. Is it on your dress? No. You never put a penny yeah. on. <laughs> that is quite nice, like candy apple. I like that. So would you leave that like that or would you torch a little bit? A tiny bit. A tiny bit. Do you want me to fire up the torch? Yes, please. You just tell me. Julie's a bit, she's, she's quite all right if she uses the cream brulee torch, which is this one, but I cannot get this torch to work. It's, it's had its day, it's finished. So the, because I use the big butane torch and it's obviously, you need to only migrate to your butane torch when you're really confident. So, um, just want me to wave it over. Do you want me to just, yeah. you tell me yeah. where. You just, whatever. Okay. Oh, look at these. Pretty, pretty. Look at that. That's kind of a little bit. Um, don't but like that, that was probably just from the lid. Yeah, don't like of that. Your, you can t tilt it off slowly if you don't. There's areas, of, if there's enough paint on there, you can always tilt. But, oh, she's got some really lovely cells within cells, like and be beautiful colours. Oh, look at those. Yeah. Look at those. Yeah, it's kind of hard to get rid of this yeah. bit. I like that. You uh, you know that the uh, the 
thing that I, the spiky thing that I showed. Yeah. Or tools. That's it's right by your hand. I've just seen it. See where the straw is? Isn't mm. that beside next to it? Yeah, there. There. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> it's just there. <laughs> My little skewer. <coughs> But I don't know whether I want to touch it. You don't have to. It's, it's your piece of art. It's all what you want to do. Beautiful cells in there. But not too many. No. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Okay, Julie's happy with that. Jilly's happy with that so we'll take some photos of it and I hope that you enjoyed Jilly doing her um, pour under instruction <laughs> and um, thanks so much for subscribing to my channel and thank you so much for your positive comments very much appreciate and thank you very much Jilly for joining me my pleasure my channel um, so yeah, let us know what you think about Julie's Paul. It's interesting. Positive comments, nice. If you haven't got nothing nice to say, I'd probably prefer not to hear it. <laughs> positive, uh, positive criticism's fine, you know. Okay, thanks guys. See you again next time. This is the spider that my dogs have been barking at that you heard throughout the video. Doesn't look that big, does he? But he's about the size of my hand. It's a huntsman. They're not a dangerous spider in Australia because they wouldn't seek you out. Oh, I'm a bit wobbly. They wouldn't seek you out to do anything. But apparently they can, if you were to handle it and that, they can give you a nasty bite. I think that would just sting, but it wouldn't make you ill enough to go into hospital. But yeah, sorry for the agrophobics out there. <laughs>